goes nothing to see if I can make it through these really cold temperatures tonight. Hey there, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and thanks so much for clicking on this video and checking out my hiking channel. Um, today I've already started climbing um, on my next hike in the beautiful state of Virginia and I am at Mount Pleasant and you can go um, oh as you can tell I'm backpacking so I the plan the plan is to camp at one of the summit stealth campsites on either the east or west um, side whatever's available um, there are campsites down at the trailhead um, but I'd like to see those sunsets and um, sunrises anyway as you can tell as my winds blowing uh, the winds blowing my hair around um, it's really cold and it's windy so I jumped on the trailhead to get on the trail to get warm anyway I'm gonna take you along with me take you to the top show you the views and show you what the trail looks like on the way up all right let's go check it out so info about this trail it is 1300 I think 77 feet in elevation gain and it is about seven miles for the loop and you can go counterclockwise or clockwise I'm actually going clockwise so heading up going? I almost stepped on you. You're right in the middle of the trail. Alright, when you get up to this sign, left is to the east and right is to the west overlook. Wow, this is the east side. In the morning east is straight that way so I will be sure to be right at this spot in the morning to catch the sunrise because it is completely unobstructed and it's going to be amazing here are the views from the west side summit So the lighting is kind of hard to see, but the mountain directly in front of us that has that dip in it is Cole Mountain. And that's the one, let me zoom in, that's the um, hike that I did that had the meadow that you hike across. And you can look over to your left and see where exactly where I'm standing right now on the top of Mount Pleasant. And I'll link that video, that hike. Um, that's an awesome hike. Highly recommend that one. One of my favorites. There's three campsites on the west side. Here's the fire ring with this one. The only thing about this one that's closest to the west, west side summit, it's not very flat right here. And the summit is right there. Here is a second campsite. Again, not very flat. Um, so put your tent. That one has a campfire ring. And then there is a flat spot. Well, I guess you could put a tent right here. Maybe another one right over here. 
and this is like the third biggest campsite and this has a fire ring nice log to sit on and this is definitely a bigger space and flatter um, to put a tent up here and you get a little bit of a view through the trees after going to both the east and the west side i think i like the east side a little bit better for camping um, it's so windy over on the west side on the east side you've got a ton of rhododendrons that kind of protect the campsites a little bit more and i'm actually at the summit on the east side and there's no wind uh, blowing right now so you could probably hear me and you probably couldn't over there <laughs> on the east side of the mountain there are only two um, spots for camping this is one and the one that i'm taking is actually back in the rhododendrons they try to help block some of the wind since we are at the summit of a 4,000 foot mountain. If the wind does start whipping up over here, these rhododendrons right here will help block some of that wind. And here's fire pit right here. And I think I'm going to put the tent right back in here. It's nice and flat and protected. Say hello to my east side friend. Hey. I know you're cold. It's freezing outside. I see your tongue. You smelling me? Jaybird just looked at the weather forecast and originally when I left the house it said it was going to be in the mid 30s um, for the low for tonight and he just looked and it says the high is going to be 27 28 so that's a little bit colder than where i feel necessarily comfortable with but i have a ton of extra clothes and gloves and a beanie hat and long johns and a scarf and lots of layers and uh, i'll take you back to the campsite and show you something that i did around the tent um, that I learned on a survival show that will hopefully help us stay warm tonight. So, all right, I'll take you over there. So I saw one of the survival shows about making a shelter and then taking leaves and stuff and putting it up next to um, the shelter to insulate it. So we're working on putting leaves um, up underneath and kind of blocking some of the wind. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Is the wind really howling out here tonight? I don't know if you can hear how here it comes. Just right here by the campfire, trying to stay warm. 
All right, for dinner tonight is vegetable soup. So um, I took gnocchi pasta with um, farro, which is an ancient grain, and I pre-cooked carrots and celery, onion, garlic, and all of that before I came, and I knew it was gonna be cold. Um, so I just, you know, it's fine to carry like that. Um, spinach, um, and I took a vegan um, broth bouillon cube so it's a vegetarian broth that's down there so anyway I brought some salt and pepper and garlic powder to put in there so I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold all right guys in the tent here goes nothing to see if I can make it through these really cold temperatures tonight um, the trail was really nice the views on the east and west summit were incredible the sunset um, there were some clouds, so it wasn't like a full sunset. Um, hopefully I can catch the sunrise in the morning and it looked beautiful. And um, hopefully I can show that to you. So anyway, keep your fingers crossed for me and Jaybird and hope uh, we can make it through the night without having to night hike to the car to the heat. All right guys, see you in the morning, hopefully. Make sure you go catch yourself a sunrise. They are just so spectacular to see in person. Video will never do it justice of how absolutely incredible it is to watch. Guys, don't laugh at me. I got you the sunrise, but I have every piece of clothing I have on to be warm up here this morning in 28 degree weather. I am absolutely frozen from head to toe. I'm gonna go jump back in the tent and try to get warm. One more shot of the world waking up. crystals coming out of the ground. guys just heading down from the mountain and just wanted to tell you my story from last night didn't think I was gonna make it through the night um, so the temperature outside was 27 but that wasn't at 4,000 feet went the higher you go in elevation the colder it gets and then it sounded like a hurricane was coming through the wind was just roaring through the trees and makes you worry about widow makers and everything else like that. And I had to change the way that I was sleeping a little bit by putting my camp blanket down in my sleeping bag. But I couldn't get warm when I first went to sleep. My upper half of my body was warm, the lower half wasn't. But made it, I don't know how, but if I had to guess on a temperature, I mean, I would say it got down to the teens. And that's not fun, guys. Uh, I don't really want to have anything lower than the 30s and that's cold enough for me so anyway just heading down the mountain um, to the parking lot where we've hit the loop to go around to the other side of the loop 
and it's just beautiful through here. Up at the top next to the summit, there's all this beautiful lush green moss that are covering all the rocks and the trees. So anyway, well, heading down. This is the trail, and then we have a water crossing right here. And I am not wanting to get my feet wet, even though I have water shoes, but I'm gonna check it out and see what I can figure out. I knew there was going to be one water crossing. I didn't know about two and I didn't know about three, but there are three water crossings and this one, you'll pretty much have to get your feet wet um, because the rocks are so far apart, but we've had a ton of rain. Um, so I think maybe that's why the water level is so high and the trail is flooded. Like you really have to walk off trail unless you want your shoes soft and wet in 30 degree temperatures. Anyway, just giving you that info. Hey guys, made it back to the trailhead. So it doesn't matter if you go to the west or the east summit or where you camp, it's just beautiful. Just get outside, enjoy nature, go on a hike, go for a bike ride, a walk, whatever you wanna do. I just want you guys to hopefully get some inspiration through my videos and to just get outside no matter what that activity is. But um, Mount Pleasant is just that. It's so pleasant of a hike. Um, coming back was nice downhill nice and easy you can look back and see um, the mountain and coal mountain as well and it just has so much to offer all these streams that are just beautiful with waterfalls there are five stream crossings and just an excellent excellent hike anyway um, thanks for joining me. If you were interested in doing this hike right after my closing, I'm going to show you this um, campground or camp site at the parking lot, show you what the parking lot looks like in another campground. So stay tuned um, if you want to see that stuff. And if not, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for joining me for this one. Until next time. It's not a very big parking lot, but people are kind of making their own parking spaces. And this is where the actual campsite is with the fire ring down here if you want to camp and you can get several tents down in here it's nice and flat